guys, my name is Vanessa. Today we're going to talk about fluid and electrolyte hyperkalemia. Bonjour, bonsoir, non moi c'est Vanessa. Je dis à nous parler de fluid and electrolyte, mais on va parler de hyperkalemia. What's hyperkalemia? Hyperkalemia is when your potassium level is too elevated, when you have too much potassium in your blood. Qui ça qui hyperkalemia? Hyperkalemia c'est lorsqu'il y a trop potassium dans sang, le potassium monte. Now what can cause you to have hyperkalemia? Pablié, when you pee, when you um urinating, you excreting potassium. So quand le potassium est trop élevé, il cause pour pipi potassium. So basically, that's one of the way, one of the major way that potassium leave your body is through pee, is through, through urination. Low pipi ou pipi potassium. Okay. So qui ça qui cause pour gain high potassium? Any kidney failure. So depuis kidney ou pas travail ou pas pipi, then of course, you have hyperkalemia. Of course, your potassium is going to be elevated because you're not putting it out. Any disease that can cause you to have kidney failure can make you have hyperkalemia. N'importe le rein ou pas travail ou pas ka pipi, you have hyperkalemia because c'est un genre que um, potassium qui te cause c'est na kidney ou c'est na rein ou il faut pipi potassium. Et puis rein ou pas travail la faut gain hyperkalemia. Okay. On l'autre bagage qui t'a fait gain hyperkalemia est aldactone. Aldactone est basically a diuretic. Son médicament yo ba ou pour tension, mais qui ça le fait son potassium sparing diuretic. Li faut pipi, mais li faut kembe potassium. OK? It makes you retain potassium so it's going to elevate it in your blood serum. So one of the things that can give you hyperkalemia is aldactone. Aldactone son médicament qui really aldactone also qui est spirolactone. Lo apralé li ka fògen hyperkalemia because son diuretic ki potassium sparing lié. Lo pipi, li fò pipi pou ka desan tansyon men li fò kembe potassium aussi. So c'est très important sou ta gen moun ki nan medikaman sa ka pran spirolactone ou bien aldactone pou di moun nan pi ka manje trop potassium parce que medikaman sa pa fè kembe trop potassium. C'est sa medikaman fè men it makes you keep potassium. So sa c'est de bagay sa ou ki ka fè ou gen hyperkalemia signs and symptoms seen avec symptômes qui ka monter que mon a gen hyperkalemia first of all mon a gen ak hyperkalemia pa konn parce que il va gen symptom sometimes it's asymptomatic sometimes it doesn't show any symptoms but one of the major symptoms that you probably could find lo gen hyperkalemia c'est muscle twitching muscle tingling like you have a tingling sensation in your muscles le mon uh, um muscles li ap twitch Okay, one of the major things that you need to look out for low in hyperkalemia, whether it's in a test or being low in patient, is your muna. Because one of the major organs that potassium affected is your lika for gain arrhythmia. Okay, lika for gain stop. Si muna go potassium na kolgi elevé, ki tre ou ki pa jam trete lika stop your treatment. Ki treatment? What are the treatment for hyperkalemia? Kisa um aki so katrete hyperkalemia. First of all, si zeki ni muna ki pa prava ki ba hyperkalemia. First thing you gonna do, you gonna um, dialyze the patient. You gonna give the patient hemodialysis. So muna na dialysis, pas pe ki ni li pa prava e li bezwen retire potassium na nakol. So ya bali dialysis. Deuxième bagay ou ka pran pou um, hyperkalemia is calcium gluconate. Calcium gluconate is basically it's gonna decrease the effect that the potassium have in your heart. So by getting this um, arrhythmias, so pour traiter arrhythmias, um, potential calcium gluconate là, y a pas only pour traiter arrhythmias, pour by getting arrhythmias, pour pas stop kill. Troisième bagay y a pas only pour um, hyperkalemia is glucose and insulin. Why I bought glucose and insulin? Because remember, low by mona insulin salve. You put glucose là, na some mona metal na cells mona cells be, me, meaning your cells tissue so ki sa ki bo energy se bagay sa lo pran insulin ko fè insulin tout mais lo pran insulin sa insulin nan fè li pran sucre ki nan sang li metel nan tissue li pran sucre nan sang li metel nan tissue mais ti pa sel sucre li pran li pran ni sucre ni potassium li metel nan tissue so lo gen hyperkalemia nan severe case you ka bo glucose avec insulin pou insulin nan ka pran nan sang lef li pou metel nan tissue meaning it's going to be less in your blood that's one of the treatment that they have for hyperkalemia. Another treatment that they have is kyaxalate. It's basically it's gonna um, exchange sodium with potassium in your GI tract. It's gonna make you have a bowel movement. La fois na toilette, okay? Kyaxalate after muna al toilette, mais kyaxalate la tout ka fo deshydrate li ka cause 
ou gagne hypovolémie so ou suppose que tu attention avec comme on va pas accélérer pour mon pas venir déshydrater um these are the treatments for hyperkalemia next video on va parler de hypokalemia thank you thank you for your time thank you for your patience don't forget to like subscribe and abonnez